Hey guys, it's Two Review Games or Adam, and welcome back to yet another one of my Fortnite top five videos. And today we'll be going over five weapons that are better than you think. So here in Fortnite Battle Royale, you have a lot of weapons that are praised to be just godly weapons. For example, the you know, bolt action sniper rifle. Every version of that gun is really good and everyone loves it. Then you have guns that are kind of trashed on. And for the most part, those guns deserve to be trashed on. They're mainly really bad. But then you have those hidden gems, those hidden rarities within those bad weapons that are actually pretty damn good. So in today's video, I'll be going over five weapons that are kind of underrated here in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, that leads us into today's question of the video. Let me guys know right now in the comment section below, what do you guys think is the most underrated weapon here in Fortnite Battle Royale? And like always, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to drop a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button. And besides that, let's go ahead and look at five underrated weapons here in Fortnite Battle Royale. So coming in at the number five spot on my list, we have the Blue M16. And the reason why I have this gun on this list is because of this constant ongoing debate between which is better, the Blue M16 or the Scars? And the thing is, it's kind of natural when you see a gun that has higher rarity. So if you have the Blue M16 and you see a purple Scar or a gold Scar, you tend to take it because it's just higher rarity and you think it's better. And of course, it, you know, the Scars are pretty damn good, especially that gold Scar. It's hands down the best gun in the game. It has the highest damage per second. But the Blue M16 compared to the purple Scar, there really isn't that much of a difference, and a lot of people think that the Blue M16 is significantly better than the Purple Scar. Personally, I gotta say, I think the Blue M16 is better than the Purple Scar, and I, I don't know what exactly it is, but the Purple Scar just seems to let me down a lot more than I would like. And I don't know if it's just because I think it's this, you know, superior weapon, or I wanna think it's so much better because it's at higher rarity, uh, but, you know, when it comes to the Blue M16, I feel like at longer range, this gun just outperforms the purple scar now of course the scar has better stats than the m16 but it's not a huge difference like it is between the blue m16 and the gold scar so next time you are playing fortnite and you see that purple scar is sitting out there on the battlefield think twice before switching it out with your blue m16 because the blue m16 might be the better way to go so coming in at the number four spot on my list we have the beautiful blue burst ar and this thing right here is definitely a very underrated weapon in Fortnite, and a huge reason why this weapon is so underrated has to be because of its drop rate, because it's so incredibly low, and it's only a rare, and if you compare the rare blue burst to the blue M16, which has a 10% drop rate, which is pretty actually high. And you see these blue M16s all, all the time from chests or just spawning in the map. On the other hand, the blue burst only has a 2% drop rate and that is really low. It's crazy because the purple scar has a 1.9% drop rate. This has a 2%, so pretty much equal chances of getting the blue burst or the purple scar. And the thing is, you see the purple scar a lot more of course right because everyone takes the purple scar if they get that from a chest they will take that purple scar unlike the blue burst people see that or they get it from a chest or it's just laying on the map a lot of people won't take it but whenever I actually end up getting this of course it is from killing somebody I can never find one of these things that just actually spawn in but it's unfortunate it, the gun is really good it is really really deadly at range of course at close range it's not the best but if I could have a blue M16 and a blue burst that's my ideal combo because it's lethal it's an amazing weapon if you catch somebody standing still and you have the two bursts or the three bursts sorry you will absolutely melt them and it's hands down one of the most underrated guns in Fortnite just because it's so rare. So coming in at the number three spot on my list, we have the new silenced pistol. 
pistol, and this weapon is really, really surprising. I wasn't expecting this to be a very good weapon, but it is actually a really good starting game weapon. Of course, it's something you're not going to keep for the entire game, but for that starting game, it can be really effective, and this is pretty much the exact same thing as the semi-auto pistol. It's just the epic and the legendary forms of that pistol. I'm always surprised on how well this pistol actually performs in game. Like close quarter gunfights, this thing is really, really good. And there are times where I beat people with shotguns and they actually get hits on me and I can still manage to take them down with this silenced pistol. Now, the one thing that I think they really need to tweak with this pistol is the drop rate. I think it's way, way too high. The epic version has a 20% drop rate and then the legendary version has a 5% drop rate and I find myself always getting these guns out of chests even when I already have one so they have to tweak that drop rate like we just talked about how a blue burst has a 2% drop rate and then an epic pistol has a 20% a legendary has a 5% that's way way too high there's too many of these things on the map so lower the drop rate and besides that this thing is something you should definitely try using if you haven't already so coming in at the number two spot on my list we have the blue revolver and if you're a subscriber on my channel and the last top five we did was the five things that could get removed from Fortnite and the revolver was on that list I, I don't think a lot of people would mind if this gun was just removed from the game but now we're talking about underrated weapons and the blue revolver is I don't want to say it's crazy underrated but I think in, in a way it is because the revolver is such a trashed on weapon and if you use this thing properly it's can be kind of fun and, and amusing but the thing is with a revolver you have to use it long range you have to treat it like a sniper because at close range you, you think you would want to use it at close range because it's a pistol but at close range this thing is horrible you don't even want to attempt trying to get into close range gunfights with a revolver but at long range this thing can be a sniper but the thing is it's just completely RNG so when I say this gun's RNG I, I literally mean you aim at your enemy and you kind of hope your shots hit you can't really be accurate with the revolver at long range but it doesn't really matter this gun is just kind of a a silly fun gun to use and that's pretty much it there really isn't too much skill involved and next time you see the blue revolver laying around give it a go have some fun and don't take it too seriously so coming in at the number one spot on my list I don't want to say that this is the most underrated gun in all of Fortnite because a lot of the guns on this list definitely deserve some more love and you know you could consider them all to be the most underrated guns in all of Fortnite but this gun right here is a gun that I, I know people know it's good but it's not really talked about all that much and it is the semi-auto rare pistol and there's something about the the rare semi-auto pistol that it's, it's just so nice and it feels so damn good. Now, I do like this more than the silence pistol. I'm just not crazy about silencers all the time in, in games, but with the regular semi-auto pistol up close, you feel like you can compete with shotguns, even at medium range. Sometimes I actually can take up people who have ARs, but it definitely shines up close. If you can get up close to somebody, you can just, you know, land all your shots. Even if they have a shield, you can absolutely melt them. This thing is low-key one of the better guns in Fortnite. When you look at the stats for the rare pistol, it's nothing all that special. It does two more damage than the common version, but the damage per second, it does 20 more damage per second than the common semi-auto pistol, and that goes a long way, especially in those close quarter gunfights like we just talked about if you can just land the majority of your shots you can really compete with shotguns even those semi-autos if the other player misses just one shot and you're landing the majority of your shots you have a very high chance of getting the kill if you land a random headshot as well you will definitely be getting a lot of close quarter kills with this beautiful rare semi-auto pistol so there we have it guys those are five weapons that are a lot better than you think here in Fortnite Battle Royale and if I had to pick one gun that is the most underrated gun in all Fortnite 
I would say they're they're all pretty much really underrated, excluding the blue M16 because that's used a lot. But they're all pretty much on an equal playing field for me. Like they're all pretty underrated. But one that really stands out to me has to be the blue burst. Like that gun is so good. I know that people know it's good, but it's just a gun that you never see, which is really unfortunate. We talked about it early in the video, but as I was gathering gameplay for this video, I'm constantly looking for blue bursts and I can't find them. Like, I can never get them from chests, and when I kill people, I rarely get one from getting a kill, and it just shows that people don't grab this gun and people don't use it, which is very surprising, but the blue burst is amazing. All the guns on this list are amazing. If you use them properly, you can absolutely destroy. But besides that, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for a ton more Fortnite Top 5s, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.